The American Bar, it's been here over 150 years. It's a proper old Belfast pub, and you can tell that as soon as you walk through the door. It hasn't been modernised, it hasn't been updated. I think that's what people like about it. It's, it's true, it's real. Sort of arrived here by accident, because we also own Sunflower, and it was under threat from developers. So we were looking around in case we lost it to the developers and we had to jump ship. And we found the American bar, which was lying empty, and fell in love with it. So Sunflower was then saved from the developers, but because we'd fallen in love with the American, we decided to do both. The American Bar is so different from all other pubs in Belfast because there's always something happening. They've got music, they've got a bit of, you know, a bit of everything, and they're also helping to facilitate other sectors like the arts sector, which is absolutely wonderful. What we do and everything in between couldn't be possible without the help of the American Bar. We would just not have anywhere to, to put our, our, our plays on. We had seen the venue and thought it was perfect for what we needed to do for everything in between. So we are a non-profit theatre company. It's an amateur theatre company. It's friends and family that are coming to see us. And we wanted to be somewhere where we could invite everyone along and have somewhere really comfortable for them to be. The staff were more than friendly. They were constantly making sure we had cups of tea, they we were making sure the heating was on for us. It was just, it felt like it, they were here to support us. It felt like we were in a perfect venue for the arts because they were for the arts as well. So it was, it was great. It was really, really lovely. When I seen the space uh, upstairs in the American Bar, I knew it was perfect for Pine Size Theatre and it has uh, been brilliant for us ever since. Uh, they're so supportive, so yeah, we, uh, we'd be lost without the American Bar. Well, it's one of the last original bars in, in Belfast, you know, like, it's the way it was. I remember this bar 30 years ago and it hasn't changed much. An authentic sailor bound music pub with good genuine original music. I think in here you can get you can get a huge sound without deafening people up close. But you can also, you know if they're into it, you get this pin drop quiet kind of respect when you need it and then they all go nuts during the, the mad ones and you know. I think the intimacy versus the amount of people you can get in versus the quality of the sound system is a good combination. Yeah, it's a recurring crowd. Once people come and they know where it is and they know what's going on, they come back. When we're in here, we forget what goes on outside those doors because the music just takes us to another level that we don't get anywhere. At last week we were talking about bunkers and because of what's happening in the world. And we all said, no, we'll go to the American bar. If the world's going to end, we're all going to come to the American bar and we're going to just sit upstairs and listen to music and that's it. You know, this, that's the kind of place that this place is. Because we're off slightly off the beaten track, that is what helps to shape it, because people need to make the effort to come here, so we get the right people. People who want to come to a gig, a show, or whatever it is, they're not just walking past. But I think people like me just fell in love with it. It's just an old, proper pub. 